Okay, so these are the things you want to add to your CS files to help with uh, B hopping in the newest update. Uh, first, right click on your CS2 and go to properties, then go to installed files and click browse. Once you're in here, you want to go to game, CSGO, CFG, and there are three things you want to create. You want to uh, right click, new, text document, and you want to name one of them plus jump dot cfg so you don't want the txt there at all just plus jump dot cfg and i'll have this in the description you'll paste uh, this text into it and then for the other one you want to do minus jump dot cfg and that'll have slightly different text and i'll have both those in the description and then the third one is auto exec dot cfg and for this is the actual bind and uh, I've got two different binds. Uh, one is for the actual bee hopping and the other is uh, a nice quick little quality of life thing for getting it to work better by uh, limiting your FPS to 64 while you hold a specific button. It could be either Alt, which is what I've got, or you could do Spacebar, which is quite good. Uh, you can make that anything you want. All of this in the description. And you want to make sure you save each and every one of these. And once they're in there, um, you should be good to go. Uh, you can test it out in a practice game. So practice on Nuke. And once you load in, you just uh, hold the uh, button, whatever one you bound for um, limiting the FPS. So mine is Alt. And if you look at the FPS in the top right, it'll lock to 64. and will release it back up to 300. So let's test this out. See, I'm not even experienced with movement. Like, I'm relatively new to this sort of stuff, and I can hit these easy, no problem. And it works on like most maps as well. You don't even need to be on nuke. Like, it doesn't even need to be that flat terrain. It just helps with all forms of strafing, b hopping, jump bugs, edge bugs, all of that sort of stuff. It's great. And yeah, it's pretty simple. I don't know how long it's going to last in the game for, but yeah, very fun. Brought me back to it. I was sort of giving up on the game for a while, but yeah, it's been a bit of a drought in terms of content and updates, but yeah, there you go.